What's up everybody? Welcome to today's video. We're going to be checking out some football. I know recently I've been doing a lot of videos on some rugby. I've been doing some videos on some rally car racing. And I just really wanted to be able to express myself and learn a whole bunch of different cultures and just be, you know, intertwined in like all these other stuff that I really never got into. But we're back to football and I saw this video on my feed and I was like, yo, this sounds like a perfect video idea. The disappearance of the North Korean Ronaldo. That title alone seems super interesting, so I had to check it out with you guys. And I'm like, man, let's watch it together. This seems like something that's super fun. Uh, before you, before we get into this video, if you guys have any videos you want me to watch, if you guys have any, you know, footballers or any of your favorite teams or any videos specifically, make sure you leave it in the comment section down below, and make sure you add that link so that I'm gonna be able to give you a shout out when I do make that reaction video. I'll put you guys on the screen and I'll screenshot it, and it's gonna be super awesome to see your name up there. Um, other than that ready to get into this right before we get into this i want to you know give some like pretty awesome news about the channel first up sports is going to be working with fanatics and we're going to be offering some really awesome uh you know merchandise different apparel for your favorite teams so uh they're going to be offering actually not me because it's not my company but if you guys want to check out and you want to get a jersey of your favorite soccer club make sure you guys click the description in uh, click the link in the description down below and use my link to be able to get that if you want to support the channel That'll be super dope uh, but Other than that, I'm super excited to get into this thing the disappearance of the North Korean Ronaldo. Let's check it out of Kim Jong-un nuclear missiles let's go when you think of North Korea you might be thinking of Kim Jong-un shout out to Nabuto maybe even shout out to Nabuto for this video if you guys want to watch it without me commenting on it the link to this video is also going to be in the description I'll go ahead and check that out. Okay, fine. Hong Kong Song is probably not the first thing Hong you think Kong of when Song. North Korea is mentioned. But Han actually had a lot of talent, and he was said to be one of the Let's next big Hong stars Kong in football Song. and the North Korean national team. However, due to some controversies, Hong Kong Song disappeared off the face of the planet, and nobody knew where he went for the longest time. So, who where. is Hong Kong Song, and what happened to his career? Well, let's what take a deep dive Kong into Song. it. However, before that, it's important to note that North Korea actually has some football history. In fact, North really? Korea actually qualified for the 1966 World Cup after beating Damn, Australia in the wow. Rounds. Then at the tournament, they were drawn into a group with the USSR, Italy, and Chile. Wow, what wow. a group. Now, it wasn't looking too good that for North Korea, like, with them losing like a game against the Soviets there. and then drawing against Chile 1-1. That meant that North Korea had to be Italy, one of the biggest European giants out there, if Man. they wanted any chance of making it to the next round of the World Cup. And that's exactly what they did. That's a Thanks tough to the North Korean right forward, Pak Do Week, scoring against the Italians, North Korea beat Italy 1-0, knocking the Europeans no out and qualifying for the quarterfinals of the 1966 Dude, World no Cup. Way. Now, you might be thinking that Italy was probably embarrassed and will want nothing to do with North Korea after this shocking loss. But actually, it was quite the opposite. The Italians actually became very friendly and respectful towards North Korean nice. football, and they even formed some sort of business relationship. I'll get to that soon though, trust me. But for now though, let's get back to Han Kwang Song. So Han was actually born on September 11th, 1998. Yo! in Pyongyang, North Korea, to a working class family. Now, Han had That's an cool. early interest in football, and this led him to study at the Pyongyang International Football School, which was essentially a youth academy that annually accommodates 200 young North Korean kids who dream to be footballers. And this is all sponsored by the North Korean government. Oh, now, I know really? what you might be thinking. North Korea, a country so mysterious and yeah, controversial on, having a football academy? There. Yeah, it sounds weird, I know, but it's true. According to Christopher Green, an expert in North Korea, some might say, when Kim Jong-un got into power in 2012, he made sure the physical education curriculum mm. focused way more more on football. And this shift is the reason why the Pyongyang International Football School started to thrive. But it wasn't just about simply That's training cool. North Korean kids in the country, but they also wanted their students to have the opportunity to train overseas. And the North Korean under 16 national team that was affiliated with the school had the opportunity to do just Dude, that. I didn't with even them know traveling North to Korea Barcelona in fall 2013 man. to train at the Marset Academy. These group of kids were all talented, but the biggest talent in the group was the one and only Han Kwang Song. This Spanish academy would only serve its Ooh. purpose for around a year. Basically up until the AFC under 16 championships in Thailand, where the Hong North Kong Korean Song. under 16 team were playing. And in this tournament, the North Korean players made history. They would surprisingly make it out of the group with two wow. wins and one draw, with Han Kwang Song scoring in every single group stage game. They then went on to knock out Iran on penalties Damn, in the bro, finals was and did the exact same thing to Australia in the semifinals, making it all the way to the final against political and neighboring rivals, South Korea. But North Ooh. Korea got the better of them surprisingly, with them winning 2 1 in the finals. Dude. And Han Kwang Song scored a crucial goal good. to win the AFC under 16 championships for North Korea, clearly showing that whatever the North Korean government was doing, like 
sending the kids off to European countries to train was definitely working. Also, it's important to note that the star of the North Korean team at this tournament was definitely Han Kwang Song, who scored four goals out of the six games. Oh, man, so he was with the North Korean government sure. realizing it probably wouldn't be good carrying. for his or the other North Korean kids' development to come back to their country instead of Europe, they try to find another academy in Europe to take them in. And that's where Italy comes into play. Like uh, I said, North okay. Korea and Italy have had a good relationship since the 1966 going. World Cup. And the head of the ISM Academy over in Italy, Mauro Costarella, agreed to take the boys in. And obviously, this was only possible thanks to the good relationship these two countries have built over football and also political. Dude, since crazy. Italian politician Antonio Razzi has actually somehow become good friends with Kim Jong-un. I don't really know how this happened, but Razzi actually spent five days that's touring a, North Korea exploring the country. And there is no way you would be allowed to do that if you weren't friends with the big man up top. So, thanks to Razzi and Costarella's ISM Academy, the North Korean players so were they got these connections in Europe, to come man, to Italy and even had great opportunities to get scouted. Now, this opportunity was obviously given to the best the North politics, Korean talents. And the best one of them was obviously Hong like Kong Song, who didn't let this opportunity go. Here's people. the problem, though. Due to FIFA's regulations regarding underage players, Han wasn't allowed to sign with a European club until he turned of age. So during okay. his time at the academy, all he could do was train and get used to the Italian culture and language. However, when he turned 18, European clubs were all over him, including the likes of Manchester City, Juventus, oh. and especially my club, Liverpool, at the time. No Liverpool way. were so interested to sign Hong Kong Song that the club sent Barry Hunter, the chief scout, to meet with Han and try to get him to join the club. Damn, during everybody wanted him. Barry Hunter even tried to lure Han to sign the Ting by saying, he could be Steven Gerrard. Here's the problem though. Hong Kong Song literally had no idea who Steven Gerrard was. Wow. Wait a minute. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That's be true. Oh, Barry even showed him a picture just in case Han didn't recognize the name. But even then, Han had no idea who he was. Now that's I know crazy. some Liverpool fans watching this might be like, "What the hell? That's so disrespectful." But remember, he's from North Korea. Yeah. What did y'all expect? They can't even happen? see nothing. Also, they can't watch calm Liverpool in fans down. Both sides apparently found the situation funny, and Han even apologized for not knowing who Jr. was. He didn't just sit there with a blank expression, not showing any emotion whatsoever. He's not a robot, bro. He's not Kuma. I wonder if they're if you know, you know. worried now, about, like... After this like, meeting, did Hong Kong Song ever end up joining Liverpool and meeting Steven Gerrard? No, no, North he didn't. Korea, Instead, like, he actually listened to the advice of his agent, Sandro Stamperinim, and ISM Academy sporting director, Stefano Capazuka, to stay in Italy and name. accept an eight-week trial offer Capazuka. from Cagliari, in which Han excelled at, and on March 10, 2017, he signed his first professional contract, making him the first Asian and North Korean player to play for Cagliari. Wow. However, he wasn't actually the first North Korean player to sign for a Serie A club, because Cho Son Hyok signed for Fiorentina a year before. It's probably a good thing though in hindsight oh, so that Liverpool didn't that. sign Hong Kong Song because there definitely would have been problems with the UK government and the FA due to the sanctions against North Korea with one of the reasons being That's unable true. to track where the money he will earn will go with the potential of it going back to Kim Jong-un being pretty high however since Ooh. Italy had more of a friendly relationship with North Korea politically and footballing wise Han was able That's to sign true. with Cagliari despite the controversies now Han was initially supposed to start off with the Cagliari U team but on his first day at the club he scored a hat trick in a friendly training match impressing the Jeez. Cagliari coaching staff so hat much that they decided day? to promote him the first team. He did make some under 19 appearances after this, but Han finally got his full Serie A debut on April 2nd, where he featured for the final four minutes of a 3 1 victory versus Palermo, becoming the first North Korean player to play in the Serie A. Then a week later, on literally his second appearance for Cagliari, Han scored his first goal for the club, netting in a late goal past Joe Hart and a 3 2 away defeat to Torino, becoming the first North Korean to score in the Serie A. With these couple of great stints, Han was awarded with another contract with Cagliari that will last all the way up until 2022. I wonder what, I wonder but at just what the, 18 years old the, for the following season, Cagliari is the most interesting part of this is like i wonder what the what like how much money they can earn like how much money are they allowed to keep like sure say say somebody's north korea north korean football player he goes to like barcelona he makes 100 million what are like what are the taxes in north korea like how does that even work like how much do they get to keep like oh that's like i wonder if there's anybody that's ever actually like done research on that to see like how much people can actually make because like if i'm sure in dictatorship they could decide what you earn so like if you make 10 million or like, you make 100 million can you only keep a hundred thousand and the rest goes to the government like that's like if that was the case like that's crazy like dude i don't know man like, that's pretty consistent insane. starting minutes. So Han was loaned to Serie B side Perugia happens. instead. That, Han started off his time with Perugia with the bank, scoring a hat trick on a Serie B debut and a 5 1 win over Verde Santella. In total for the 2017 18 campaign, before Cagliari recalled Han from the loan in February, he got himself seven goals in 17 league games. And then when he was back with oh, Cagliari, he got seven Serie A appearances as well. Okay. However, when August 2018 came around, Han joined Perugia for his second time on loan and then ended up with four Perugia. goals and two assists in 19 league games. But he was injured for a good mm, part so of the season went, with him having the 
down knee surgery as well. Regardless, his off. talent was being shown with Perugia well, not at that the much, time, and he was starting to get his seven. name out there on the internet. Everybody's obviously going to be curious about a North Korean striker scoring goals in Italy. It's going to get clicks. However, the Perugia club president, Massimiliano Santopadre, said it was wow, difficult to market the North Korean wonder kid since the government of North Korea placed heavy restrictions on what he's allowed to do. Really? In fact, right before Hong Figured. Kong Song was supposed to appear on RAI's La Dominica Sportiva program over one weekend, the Perugia president received a call from a North Korean representative saying that Han was forbidden to make any public TV appearances what? now and in the future. Not only that, That's North Korea crazy. said if Han or the club breaks these rules, they would take Han back to North Korea, essentially deporting him. Nah, that's crazy. Take he was only back? 19 years old too. Essentially though, the only marketing the club was allowed to do is showing off how good Han Kwang Song was exclusively on the pitch. Now from this time forward, North Korea would only Dude, continue to make crazy. themselves more controversial in the public eye, with them continuing to conduct new Bro, testing like, and more question marks starting to be brought up and where Han's money was going. Like, I wonder where, yeah, that's crazy. I wonder why, um, dude, they really just said we can take him back. Like, he's just like their property, which is like crazy. Like, what do you mean take him back? Like, that's insane. And also, like, if you're in North Korea, wouldn't you want your country to be known, like, for what for good soccer players, for like football players? Like, why wouldn't that be something you want? Like, why do you want? I mean, maybe if they're scared of what he's gonna say. I mean. There's a lot of people that escape North Korea that don't really say good things. So I guess if you give somebody like that a platform, it doesn't really end well for you. And whether any European club should be paying him at all. Despite all the oh, turmoil that's surrounding that's North crazy. Korea and that's Han, crazy. Juventus literally didn't care. We do not care. And in September 2019, oh, Han secured a Juventus. deadline day move to Juventus on a two-year loan deal from Cosbieri, with an obligation to buy at the end of the two years. Han Kwang Song, often nicknamed as the North Korean Ronaldo, seemed to be close to North playing Korean with Ronaldo, Ronaldo at Juventus. The universe was aligning itself. Or that's what I would have said if Han actually got the opportunity to. Because throughout his time at Juventus, he would play all of his games with the Juventus reserve team, which were the Juventus no under-23s over in the Serie C, where he would only go on and score one goal and two assists in 20 games. What During happened? his time at Juventus, though, he often traded with the Juventus the senior team since the manager at the time sorry really liked him not only that he was actually called up twice to the juventus bench during syria games becoming the first player from asia to so be called up for juventus now there were some stories going the around team. that the reason why han didn't make a syria appearance for juventus was because of political reasons despite sorry really? actually really liking him and being ready to play him but who knows whether this is factually true or not however what is and true is so hong kong song's performance in the Serie c wasn't the best but juventus seemed to be convinced of his talent and even jumped ahead of the deadline to buy han from cagliari for 3.5 million euros on January 2nd, 2020. Okay, but instead of this being the start of Han's wonderful career, it was actually the start of his downfall. That's because six days after Juventus purchased the North Korean forward, they sold him to Qatar side Aldo Hill for 7 million euros. So what? why did this happen? Well, there's loads of things. So sit tight and grab some popcorn. We get in political in this b on December 17, 2017, the United Nations decided that all member states, which means Italy, were mandated to send all North Koreans working in their countries back to North Ooh, Korea within 24 the, months. This crazy. means that in December 2019, Han Kwang Song wasn't supposed to be a Juventus, but instead back in his home country of North Korea. These sanctions seem to be pretty cool, especially for Han Kwang Song, who literally just wanted to play yeah, football. That's not but even with the nuclear thing. testing that that's North Korea cool. was conducting, the United Nations felt like they had no choice but to do this. So with this mandate, Han Kwang Song oh, wasn't crazy. actually allowed to stay a Juventus, which is probably why they had no choice but to activate the buy clause early just so they could sell it however he didn't go back to north korea yet like i said since he went to qatar to play for aldo hill hoping that he could stay free from u.n sanctions in the middle east and it was that way for a while because while han was at aldo hill he was still showing off his incredible talent scoring three goals and getting one assist in 10 games and played a pretty decent role in helping aldo hill win the qatar stars league however wow. the celebrations of han winning the league with the rest of his aldo hill teammates was the last we were going to see of him for a long time that's because his transfer to qatar still violated u.n sanctions and despite him what? signing a contract with the Qatari bank that prevented him sending money to North Korea, apparently, Aldo Hale was still forced to terminate his contract since he wasn't allowed to be selected no. to play. And that was that for the Damn. longest time because from September 2020 onwards, nobody heard a peep about it. The head of the ISM Academy though, Mauro Costarello, said that he spoke to Hong Kong Song a few times and even mentioned that Hong was willing to play anywhere, even Malaysia, where he was in talks to play for a club in that league. But oh, that never man. happened because the UN sanctions were definitely falling him there Damn, too. Bro, now you might be thinking, bro, Han might be a free crazy. agent, but that shouldn't stop him from playing for the North North Korean national team, right? And to that I say, you are correct. But North Korea pulled out of every single competition and qualifying match when COVID-19 started, Damn, meaning Han man. never had the opportunity to continue to play for his national team, hence his disappearance.
But after three years of nobody knowing what's going on with Hong Kong Song, he made his reappearance from the depths of the Shadow Realm. Because North Korea okay. finally started to play international football again, as they are currently playing in the qualifying matches for the 2026 World Cup in the oh, United States. No way. I wonder how that's going to work if North Korea actually qualifies. Anyways, back to topic. With North Korea participating in international football again, if Hong Kong Song maybe has they're gonna pick him out with him starting like... in the 1-0 loss away to Syria, with him wearing the number 10 and playing left wing. Then, in the 6-1 victory over Myanmar, Han scored a goal and Six even got one. an assist, showing to us football fans that Han is still in the scoring ways nice. regardless of him disappearing off the face Dude, of the earth and honestly him, it's he probably not play, likely bro. that he stopped playing football and entirely and chose to sit on a TV the eating popcorn or something he was That's probably crazy. playing in the North Korea Premier Football League the top division in the country those games aren't broadcasted obviously so there's no way to tell for sure but there were some rumors over the internet that he signed for the most successful club in North Korea April 25 and has been playing for them ever wow. since but there's no official source on this so I'm not too sure regardless it's common knowledge I wonder, now I wonder, that I wonder due how to North Korea's testing and political controversy Hong Kong Song hasn't been allowed to fulfill his dreams of becoming a top footballer in Europe. And this is all because of the sanctions against the people of his country, something completely out of his control. Sadly, Hong Kong Song will forever be known as a what-if player, but at least now at the end of 2023, we know Song. that he's still alive and still playing football. And if not for April 25, definitely the North Korean national team. Still, at just the young age of 24, he has so much more to give in this sport, yeah, and man, I'm sure so he will for his still, country. Man. Anyways, thank you guys for watching my video on Hong Kong Great Song. Video. And if you're a true OG of the channel, you would know that Shout out, shout out to Nabru, Nabruto, Nabuto, shout out to Nabuto, that was an awesome video, I, I had no idea about any of that, I had no idea about any of that, so if you guys want to check out more of Nabuto's videos, click the link in the description and go check out his channel, this was actually a really well done video, so props to you, I didn't know anything about this player, and I had no idea that these, like this type of stuff was happening to North Korea athletes, like I knew all the stuff with North Korea is going on, and how they have sanctions against them, and things like that. But I just never really stopped to like think about how that actually affects the people that are working overseas. Like that's just like such a niche kind of situation that you even think about. So it's crazy to see this guy like all one, all he wants to do is just play football and just get in that kind of taken away from him because of like political issues. And it's like, man, like this dude has nothing to do with it. Like he's just trying to play his game. So it's sad to see that he's not able to live his dream and be, you know, continue to be a pro. And it's just really unfortunate. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to watch more videos like this Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel And if you guys want videos if you guys want me to watch the videos that you like put in the comment section down below um, And if you guys want, you know some jerseys or a cool, you know Look cool little jacket of your favorite team. Make sure you go ahead and check the description down below and click the link uh, first up sports and working with the one and only Why do I keep forgetting the name? Fanatics, thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.